Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Attention again. Got to bring it to our attention again that, hey, Jalen Brown is like that. When you talk about two of the best, some, one of the best duos in the game, it's him and Jason Tatum. He can't be punished. Hit me out, S.A. He cannot be punished, Jay Will, for the people that he have around him. That whole starting five, think about this. When they're healthy, every single guy on that starting five could be in the All-Star game. Well, big I would, hold, 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 okay, go hold, hold on, Jay, let me chime yeah. in. A couple of things. Number one, I'm not going to say that he can't be hurt because there's been plenty of times throughout NBA history when we look at the teammates around you to decide your value because of the ease with which your responsibilities, you know, the, the responsibilities that you have. Because if you've got a star-studded cast around you and you're superior the most competitors, that does make life a bit easier for you. And when we see the arduous task that other stars have and we see how they overcome it individually, we can't ignore that. But number two, I'm going to throw this out to both of y'all. And Jay, I'm going to come to you first with this. And you say what you want to say, uh, whatever point you was going to make. But I want to read to y'all what an NBA source just sent me. He huh. said, Jalen Brown, it's not so much that he's underrated. It's that he's just not liked. Because of his, quote, I am better than you attitude. He knows it. It's the same reason he is not as marketable as he should be. That's what an NBA source just sent me. I don't know that to be the case. I like Jalen Brown. I know a lot of people that like Jalen Brown. But, again, when you think about marketability, that's what that person was alluding to. Do y'all think there's any credence to that whatsoever in terms of the conversation that we're having? I mean, I, I think he should be marketed more. I think the term underappreciated is more relevant here for this conversation, more so than underrated. Got I it. Think, I think the reality, Stephen A., is that whenever we talk about certain brand names, like you're going to lead with Jason Tatum because it's been established as he's been the guy for them, even though Jalen Brown should have been the guy, or same with LeBron James or Stephen Curry. So right. I, I, I think... How we feeling, JB? Yeah, you ready? Point. You ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. You know, uh, Hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. It's your boy, ECO, man. I had to check this, man. Um, Jalen Brown, congratulations to the Celtics. I wanted the Mavericks to win, but when they didn't, I was like, okay, well, we got to, you know, we got to respect what happened. And, uh, man, I'm looking at this whole thing, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? My boy Stephen A. again. He is tripping me out. He's done jumped out the gym with this one. He's, he's, he's got a source that he tells the people that's saying things that are negative about Jalen Brown. And, and when you look, and when Jalen Brown comes out with the, with the trophy, with the championship trophy, he got on his shirt, state your source. Let us know who this source is. So I'm tripping off the fact of Stephen A always comes up with something to where he's got a source, but he don't reveal it. So what's going on with this, man? And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Alex, I respect these guys, man. They go at it head for head. They get it all. But then they got these people that's journalists that sit back and just, I mean, just shoot holes in the game. But when you're a champion, man, I mean, you get the last laugh to me. And I got it. Hey, listen, reality TV is known for her sports antics and she knows sports and and i know she gonna have a little something to say about this the celtics congratulations let me let me get to it reality tv you there yes i'm here oh you are yeah so let me tell you, about you so you there i'm here all right let's talk about it so Jalen brown the reason why people don't really notice him like that is because he's he's like a, a hustler defensive player he, you know because he locked down Luca, he locked down Kyrie you know he he know how to get down and dirty when it's 
it's supposed to. You know, in most sports, people always know the offensive player more than the defensive player, right? People like the people that... Right, 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 point. right. So I feel like that's, that's, that's a reason why. But um, I don't know why people don't like Jalen Brown because he really do get down and dirty. I like him. What, what's up with what, what's up with what's up with Stephen A's source? Do I I feel like he was trying to say because maybe he dark skin, he's not marketable. Well, he got a source though, but he don't tell his source. That's why Jalen say on his shirt, "State your source." Right. He always have a source, but I have sources that I'm not gonna tell him. So I'm not gonna <laughs> I have more than one thing I'm not going to tell you. don't think that this is the way that Stephen A. Stephen A. might be his own source. He might be because he know everybody. I mean, I mean, he do know everybody. So know couldn't he people. easily say, hey, you know, let me say this so I can have, I want to say it, but I'll just say I have a source. How hard is that? So, you know, being out here and being in the sports and being involved with these people, they do have conversations like that, especially like if you somebody that's really into it, they going to come to you. It might be somebody off the street. It might be somebody within the NBA that do talk to Steven. They might just be having a conversation over uh, some vodka or uh, some crap. You know, I don't know. But I feel or like... Kanye. They, they love that Kanye. Kanye, right. The yak. It, I mean, it's, it's sports talk. People have sports talk. So he probably do have sources. Wow, so what, was you disappointed when you seen the Mavs lose like that to the Celtics? I'm a LeBron fan, so I always want LeBron to win the ring. So it's well, LeBron, LeBron ain't win. even in it. So, but I do, I'm, you know, I'm in Dallas, and I'm always rooting for Dallas, you know, and some of the Dallas Cowboys, I, but that's another subject. But <laughs> I just, um, I, I really, just because everybody was, you know, had them being the underdogs. I do like to root for the underdogs, and they did overcome in a major way. Wow. Well, you know, like I can say I had to call you. I know you you geared up for the sports uh, segments that you're going to be doing with Boss Talk 101 Prime Time. Uh, that's coming. People don't even realize it. Um, oh, let me say this. For go ahead. Somebody that's out there that was at the parade when Boston was um, doing their parade, Jalen Brown lost one of his rings, and he got a, a reward for it. So if you find that ring and you or you got it, he got a big reward for it. Wow, it won his one of his championship rings. Yes. Wow, wow! If you got that ring, y'all come off that ring. We, we'll rock with you if get you got. Get that man his ring back. Get that man his get ring man. back, man. You gonna get a big bag. Man, thank you so much, Reality TV, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing more segments like this. Make sure you guys get in the comments. Uh, Reality TV want to hear from y'all. She's uh, gonna be talking about sports again. Uh, just let us know what you want to hear her talk about. She'll be in the studio here live here in a minute. We're going all the way in. I be having the tea, y'all. I be having the tea on all the sports stuff because they be over here in the hip hop world too. All right, then. Well, I appreciate you, man. Boss Talk 101, man. This is, I'm, I'm going to sign off, man. It's going down. Boss Talk 101, what a boss's talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.